What's with the party hat and the horns? I'm celebrating. Are you still celebrating New Year's? No, it's our second episode. We haven't been canceled yet. We can't get canceled. It's our show. We can't get canceled and we own the show? That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You know, there's no need for simple things like contracts because, you know, we're online. We're not even on TV. We're on the internet. We have web series. We don't have any contracts? Nope. That's pure genius. No contracts. Our show can't get canceled. Amazing. It is. Because, you know, we go online and watch the show. There's no television contracts yet. Oh, that's Not yet, but anybody that's watching. Having it on, on a website, that's the way to drive people to the show. Exactly. That is awesome. Now, we got a great show lined up for you guys. We got uh, some great acts coming up. Yeah. Oh, let's put your hands together. Uh, we get a bonus. No, we don't get bonus, and we don't get paid. Stock options? <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> yes, you get stock options the fifth Tuesday of every month and, you know, the first Saturday of every other month. Woohoo! We are in the money! <laughs> in the money! <laughs> can, can we get on with the show? Oh, sorry. Yeah. We gotta make the stock sword. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a great show lined up for you, so sit back, stay tuned, and You remember when we were stuck in that little house next to Archie and Edith? Oh, I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on up to the OB side with a deluxe hamburger and some fries. Moving on up. To the OB side, you better save me a piece of that pie. Ate all the food in the kitchen, cooked it up on the grill. Took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. Call me chubby or chunky, don't you dare call me fat. As long as we live, we'll be huge, baby, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, yeah, we're moving on up to the OB side. With a deluxe hamburger and some fries. Moving on up to the OB side. You better save me a piece of that pie. Hey, T, his kids nowadays. He just dressed in nothing good. Nope. Sure don't. You remember back in the day when the Xbox was your ex-wife? In <laughs> yeah. PlayStation, that was something you did in the toilet. <laughs> How you doing? Right. What can I get for you? Some of that right there. Dude, that's out of your league. What do you want to drink? Oh, I'll have a beer. There you go, enjoy. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Are you too embarrassed to talk to the hot girls at the end of the bar because you can't swing the bat anymore? Well, have no fear because the new wonder drug, Wanna Stay Up, is the answer to all your problems. All you have to do is take two pills exactly 74 minutes before sexual activity and you'll be able to give the girls the best 33 seconds of their lives. That's right, and for a limited time only, you can get a two-month supply of Wanna Stay Up for only $79.99. That's enough for one great night each month. I took want to stay up, and now I have the confidence to talk to women. After he took want to stay up, he was able to not satisfy me, just like every other man I've been with. That's right. We took him home and ripped his clothes off, and then it was over. I got you, you just like every other night. Call today and have Wanna Stay Up shipped directly to your door. 
Oh, and want to stay up may cause coughing, sneezing, dandruff, cold sores, cancer, ingrown toenails, itching, watery eyes, anal seepage, drunk dialing, sweaty armpits, blue balls, onion breath, narcolepsy, anal probing, paralysis, either partial or total, herpes, wildfire, chicken pox, and in some very unrare cases, death. Please contact your doctor before using it. You remember back when the view was funny? You talk about when you look outside and you, you see the hot neighbor? No, I was talking about the TV show. <laughs> I don't ever remember that being funny. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. I'm thinking about going hunting later on. What you going hunting for? <laughs> Just to get out of the damn house. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it takes so much of the woman, you know. <laughs> when I married her, she was young and pretty. No, she wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that neither. <laughs> Welcome to Sammy and the Slammer. I'm Sammy. And today we're going to be talking about drugs. Now I ain't talking about no eight balls and no dime bags. Today we're going to be talking about pre pre over-the-counter medication. Now, we were supposed to bring in a panel of docs and researchers, but none of them uppity crackers would get off their asses and come on to my show. And I might bail in two weeks, so if I see you out on the streets, I'm gonna smoke. I mean, I'm gonna politely request that you have a smoke with me. See, look, I got the smokes right here. Anyway, the show must go on. Now, we found a scientist who agreed to help us out. So everybody, put your hands together for Dexter, Spark Plug, Triple, PhD! How you doing, Dex? That's his Dexter Spark Plug, Triple PhD. All right, let's get down to it. Dexter, can you tell me why some prescription medications have like 10 side effects? Because that's all that they've documented thus far. Well, maybe you can help explain what some of these side effects mean. For example, this right here says you may experience gas with oily seepage. Oh, that is just a polite way of describing a fart that spackles your chair with a nice greasy stain of ass buckshot. Yo, man, that's nasty. In some cultures, it's a great compliment to the chair. Yo, whatever, man. And this one here says that you may experience visual hallucinations with increased sexual inclinations. Now that don't sound so bad, especially after doing two years in the joint. No, not bad at all. Except for the fact that it is entirely possible you'll end up getting banged by your 400 pound cellmate named Tiny. With $20 running on whether or not he'll be done by the time the guards find out. But, in reality, you are actually in a janitor's closet sitting on a plunger. Now, it may not sound bad to you, but to me it sounds worse than dropping the proverbial soap. Well, thankfully we're almost out of time. You have anything else to say, Dexter? Yes. The explanation of the medical dilemma that you have been alluding to is quantified by the aspiration to superficially be transformed into illustrious personalities. Basically, people only take pills to try and look like celebrities. Instead of taking pills, all you have to do is learn to love yourself. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure you tune in next time, because if you don't, you know what I'm going to do? Huh? I mean, I mean, little Guido, who I have no connections to, is going to give you a water ride with cement shoes. Got it? That's it. It's time to go back to the slammer. Hey, hey, that's my line. No, that's mine. Man, what do you, what do you... Welcome to Funny Bones News. I'm Bob Cardile, your news anchor. Tonight in the news, it appears that Nancy Pelosi has run off with the gavel. She refuses to give up her Speaker of the House position to John Bonnier, the wuss that was crying. And in response, <laughs> Bonnier has chased her down the street, yelling obscenities at her, and tackled her down and took the gavel. <laughs> in other news, we have the weather with Mini Metropolis. 
who just so happens to be a cougar with an STD. Up here in the north, we have inches and inches of fresh snow, and you know I like it that way. <laughs> but don't be jealous if you live down in the southwest, <laughs> because in the southwest it's nice and hot. And down here in Florida, it's, they're getting lots and lots of rain, so it's very, you know the word. <laughs> and the <laughs> foliage is nice and thick. Next up, we've got sports with Gandhi. Gandhi? Hello, we are here at the Brazilian Man Match in Africa. And uh, it's quite a day today. There's lots of people walking. They want to walk from India to Africa. I don't exactly know how they're going to do it. There's a lot of water. And none of them can swim. <laughs> I guess that's another sport. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they're gonna walk so far. It's to the desert, and uh, ooh, their feet are gonna be burning. <laughs> Back to you. Well, thank you, Gandhi, for these sports. Um, and I've got to say, stop hanging around with the Queen Mom. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> Next, we've got an urgent bit of news for you. So we go to our man on the street, Giuseppe, for the latest news break. Hey, hey, I'm a downtown, and all the buildings, they are fired. The people mad, they be at a big protest. Uh, the buildings are in bad shape. It is a gloomy day. But you may think it's 11, but no. The buildings are under warranty. So please, come on down. <laughs> come on down, please invest your money into these buildings. Even though the buildings are in very bad shape, I, I, please come on down. What is your last? <laughs> thank you, back to you. Uh, thank you, Giuseppe, and congratulations on trying to sell your burnt buildings on television. That's tonight's news. I'm Bob Cardile. Take it away.